Hello, my son students. So, in the discussion forum and in the live sessions, we have come across many questions uh, regarding functions, codomain range, and everything. And uh, also, I in this video, I want to connect the week one content with the week two content, which has been released uh, just few days back. So, let us see. Let us start with uh, what is called function. So, in week 1, we have seen that uh, function means it is a special kind of relation where uh, for one input, we are getting some output. So, there is something called input and we are getting some output here. So, from the set, uh, from where we are taking the inputs is called as domain. And, uh, where we are getting the output, where we are expecting the output is called the codomain. So, before function, there are something called Cartesian product. Suppose we have two set A and B, then we denote the Cartesian product by A cross B. So, we denote the Cartesian product by A cross B. So, that these are basically pairs ordered pairs because A is from A and B is from B. Now, so any proper subset or any subset, not necessarily proper, any subset of this Cartesian product is known as relation. Uh, to be specific, it is known as binary relation. So, it need not be a proper subset. It, okay. So, when we are seeing some function, suppose I am taking a function f from set of real numbers to set of real numbers. And it is giving us, and I am defining the function as fx equal to say 3 of x. Right. So, if I take 1, I am getting 3. If I say take 2, I am getting 6. If I take, so we are taking real numbers, so rational numbers is also in there. So, if I take some uh, 2 by 3, we are getting 2 and so on. So, for each input, we are getting some output here. Right. So, we can write this as an ordered pair 1 comma 3 this we can write it as 2 comma 6 where the first coordinate these two are co uh, if we say that this is my first coordinate and this is my second coordinate so the first coordinate denotes the domain elements of domain that is basically inputs and the second coordinate denotes the elements from range range is basically set of outputs so for a function we can write this as a ordered pair where the first coordinate denotes the input and the second coordinate denotes the output. So, uh, for general terminology for this function, we can write it as x comma 3x. So, when I am taking some out input x, I am getting my output as 3x. So, this is a general notation for function. That's how we relate function with relation. Eh? Uh, now you can see in week 2 we have something called coordinate geometry where we came across something called coordinate plane. So, uh, where uh, point on the plane is denoted as an ordered pair a comma b. 
uh, we'll come to that now that is the link between functions and coordinate plane and we'll see how we can think this function as points on the coordinate plane we'll come to that but before that let us take another example suppose i am taking a r to r so in this course we are generally concerned about real valued functions where the output is inside the set of real numbers so we call it real valued function okay uh, so suppose i am taking fx equal to x square then uh, similarly we can get 1 is going to 1 2 is going to 4 uh, 1 by 5 is going to 1 by 25 and so on so we can write this as x comma x square so where x is denoting my input and x square is denoting my output so in general you can see that a function can be represented as this order pair x comma fx where x is my input and fx is my output whatever the relation i am stating here so this is my input and this is my output now in the beginning of week one lecture sir has defined what is coordinate plane so suppose i have a point p on a two dimensional plane now to define exactly where the point is we need two defined axes and we denote it one as x axis and another one is as y axis now if we are given these two defined axes then corresponding to that i mean with respect to that we can define exactly where the point is so uh, we can see that the point is suppose this is x unit so the point is at x unit distance from the y axis and y unit distance from the point x axis so we can define the coordinate of the point as x comma y that's how the concept of coordinate plane has came to basically define where a point on a two dimensional plane is situated on suppose i am a point at uh, which has coordinate 2 comma 3 so it means that the point is at 2 unit distance from y axis and 3 unit distance from x axis so like this this is 2 comma 3 so this distance is basically 2 and this distance is basically 3 and this is my x axis and this is my y axis now in the previous page we have seen that uh, for a function f i am taking a real valued function from r to r so where domain is r and codomain is also r and the function is defined as something like x is going to fx uh, where fx is given by some relation sometimes it is x square sometimes it is 2x or, and there can be many things uh, which is possible uh, so and we denote the input as x and the output as fx so we can write it as a ordered pair where the first coordinate denotes the input and the second coordinate denotes the output so suppose my function is fx equal to 3x which we have seen already so for point 1 1 is going to 3 so the we can write it 1 comma 3 now this 1 comma 3 we can plot on this coordinate plane right so this is my x axis this is my y axis so 1 comma 3 means it is at a distance 1 from this y axis and at a distance 3 from this x axis so this is my 1 comma 3 this is 1 comma 3 similarly 2 will go to 6 so this is my point 2 suppose this is 2 and here something up here is my point 6 so this is 2 comma 6 right so let us see where 0 goes 0 will go to 0 itself so this is basically 0 comma 0 which is known as origin so you can see uh, that 
for defined input we are getting some defined output and we can plot this point on a coordinate plane so if we point all these points on this coordinate plane which is coming from this input comma output order pair then we will get some graph of this function so whatever the picture we are getting here that is basically the graph of a function so here fx equal to 3x will denote a straight line so all the points which are coming via this this input comma output will lie on a straight line which will pa uh, which is passing through the origin so here observe that the points on the x axis so the first coordinate is basically coming as an input so these are from the domain so x is in the domain and fx is in the range of the function so x comma when we are writing x comma fx as a point on this coordinate plane the first one this this axis is basically nothing but the domain of the function and this fx is coming from the range of the function so when we are talking about a function from r to r then the x axis is nothing but the real number line similarly the y axis is also real number line okay so this coordinate plane is nothing but x cross y the cartesian product because these are all pairs x comma y such that x is in x and y is in y okay so here x is also r and y is also r so this is nothing but r cross r so we denote this as r cross r this is the cartesian product that is why this coordinate plane is known as cartesian coordinate plane so this whole coordinate plane is nothing but uh, cartesian product r cross r and you can see that this function the graph of the function is nothing but a subset of that plane so clearly we have seen that relation is nothing but a subset of cartesian plane and function is a special kind of relation that's why it satisfies all the conditions and uh, this uh, name cartesian has came from the mathematician rene descartes so from his name this all this thing came into the picture so from his name this cartesian coordinate plane and cartesian product have came into the picture and that's how this cartesian product and cartesian coordinate planes are related thank you